books. Now, my personal experience or experiences of walking on water, it dates back to 1972. Now, I walked the length of the Panama Canal by 1974. I walked the English Channel, 1978. Now, these subjects, water shoe, were challenging to research in the early stages because very little serious work has been done on the water shoe. Now, the majority of the data that I studied, you know, it put the water shoe into a category, tightrope walkers, jugglers, and circus performers. Now, some of the common suggestions was that water shoes could only be operated by the most agile of persons in the calmness of water. But I walked 22 plus miles across the English Channel on rolling, choppy, you know, the North Sea for 13 hours. I never went down. I am somewhat annoyed by the lack of credible, available information on water shoes. Where is the science? Where is the physics? Where is Japan, China, and the Polynesian thousand-year history of water walking? I hope some of the questions will be answered in this work. But <laughs> I hope more questions will be asked. Now, I've made inroads into the study of water shoes, but, you know, 